Hey everyone, this is Finn, and I'm going to show you how to download Unity Hub, and then how to use Unity Hub to download the version of Unity that we are going to be working with. First, go to your favorite browser and open up a search engine. For me, that is Chrome and Google, so I'm going to type download Unity Hub. I'm going to go to the first link, which is download Unity. You can also go directly to unity.com. You can also go directly to unity.com slash get unity slash download, like you see here. I will have the link in the description of this video in case you can't find this page. But from here, you want to click this green download Unity Hub button, not your choose your Unity Plus download. You want to press the button to the right of that called Download Unity Hub. And then it is going to download. And this can take a few minutes. All right, now that it is done, go ahead and click that. Once you click your downloaded file, it is going to bring this screen up. You are going to want to press yes. I'm going to press no because I already have Unity Hub installed. Click on the Unity Hub shortcut that should appear on your desktop, and then see on the Projects tab, all of your projects will be listed, which for you will be none. For me, I have quite a bit. Notice that there are different Unity versions for different projects. Family Bound Practice was updated to Unity 2019.2.15. And then Mr. Fuzz World of Balloons, a cute little platformer 2D game that I made with a student, is made in 2018.3.12. That's the benefit of Unity Hub. It allows us to change the version that we are opening our game with, which is going to help a lot when you have issues that are completely dependent on the version that you've downloaded. To install Unity for the first time or to update Unity, go to Installs. I've already downloaded Unity quite a few times, so this is going to look different than what you're going to see, but you are going to want to click Add. Unity 2019.4.1 is what we are going to use, and it is a long-term support release. That is what LTS means. Go ahead and click Next with that selected. I always make sure that I have Android build support, but you don't need that on. Um, I, I like to keep it on because I work with mobile games on the Android platform. I have all of the resources up to that point to be able to do that. That is a bigger can of worms than we are going to be dealing with. Mobile development is different than normal 3D and 2D development on the PC, and that is what we are going to be focusing on for our camp. Press next. Agree any terms and conditions you need to. And then press yes. And that is going to install. While that's installing, I'm going to show you the other tabs over here to your left. Let's go up to community. This is going to provide a bunch of different um, forums and resources answering frequently asked questions, live help, groups, 
I wouldn't recommend um, joining anything like this unless um, your parents are okay with it, but you can connect with other people and ask them um, questions about programming and things that they have figured out because the programmer community is very open source and we like to uh, help other programmers online. Let's go up to learn. Here you can see all of the example projects that Unity provides for you to learn and play around. As you can see, I already have some downloaded. They are very fun. They are fully graphic tutorial projects for you to go through and have some fun. I'm going to click Creator Kit Beginner Code. And as you can see, when you click on one of them, it has a description of the tutorial. No coding experience? No problem. In this short beginner project, you'll explore the basics of C-sharp. So as you can see, it tells you exactly what you are going to be learning in the context of an action RPG. And if you are the type of person who is self-motivated and wants to learn more about programming and is really passionate about game design, I definitely encourage that you download these and go through the different tutorials. I can click view tutorials and it'll bring me up to the actual learn.unity.com tutorial. As you can see, they are providing support for COVID-19. Um, they are going to give all users three months of access to Unity Learn Premium. So just log in and um, click through to learn more. And here you can see that this set of tutorials are 10 minute videos and it is meant for beginners. So this would be perfect for anybody here. There is also this tutorials tab and I find that this is more for um, beginners who have been exploring for a little while and want to move on from being beginners and intermediate students. This might not be for you unless you have worked in Unity before. But it has tutorials such as scripts as behavior components using the inter Unity interface. Actually, that one is a very simple one. So that one would be perfect for you. Now that we have the correct version installed, go ahead and go to the Projects tab up here and click this arrow key pointing down this drop down button. And that is going to create a new file from a specific version and we want 2019.4.1. Choose the 3D template, make sure that it is clicked and it has this blue outline around it. Then go ahead and choose the location you'd like to put this file. I put mine on my desktop. And I'm going to name it First Project Test. Now you've downloaded Unity Hub, Unity version 2019.4.1, 
and you've learned how to open up a new Unity project, and this is your scene.